Uh, hey, how you doing? My name is Jeff, and I'm going to show you a quick overview of one of my favorite tools called Replay Media Catcher. Um, so check it out. We've got a Replay Media Catcher, which allows you to download pretty much most RT, um, RTMP or Flash type videos, and you can even convert and even auto convert and import to iTunes automatically. So let's say, for example, I wanted to record videos from YouTube. <laughs> and convert those to mp3 and no problem at all in fact I can record videos from YouTube I can convert those to mp3 and have those automatically import into iTunes and you know go on my iPhone 5 or my iPad 3 for example is that easy so let's go ahead and show you guys how this works number one you want to go ahead and open media catcher up and you simply click, click on start recording I'm gonna lower my volume real quick here Start recording, you want to find a video to uh, record, so let's go ahead and uh, find something amazing and worthwhile playing back. Let's look at Legend of Zelda Pot Smasher. I'm going to click play. I want to show you something. I paused the video, and if you look at the right side, the feedback here, 85 to 90%, it's already done. Now this video is 1 minute and 56 seconds, and it took me probably 5 seconds to record, and as you can see, it did name the file properly, Legend of Zelda Pot Smasher, YouTube.flv. Um, and if we play this baby back, oops, hold on a second. We have a perfect recording. In fact, if you want to enlarge the, the file as well, it looks great. Now, let's say, for example, I want to record this video in better quality. I simply click on Change Quality, and I'm going to go from 360 up to 720p, and look at Media Catcher again. It's re-recording the file, this time in 720p quality, and you can do the same thing with 1080p as well and go full high def. And by the way, these things look amazing on my 55-inch high def TV downstairs. Um, it takes a few moments longer to record because it's a high def file and it's, big, it's a bigger file. Of course, it's better quality, but uh, let's go ahead and play this baby back and see how it looks as well. So we're going to right click and we're going to click on play. If you ask me, that that's media player. That looks really, really good. And I can tell you for a fact, I do download things all the time. And I play them on my TV, and they look just as good as this, even when blown up to a humongous size. So um, that's one thing you can do out of many, many things. Let's say, for example, I am a big fan of Bruno Mars, and I want to record the song Lighters. So I can do one thing. I can, number one, I can simply open the video and record the video. But let's say I want to convert that video to MP3 so I can have the audio and listen to it. So I'm going to go to the uh, drop-down menu here. And I'm going to select MP3 high quality because I do want good quality. And that's it. Now if I go into the video. We're going to... We have to wait for this. Skip the ad here with me a second here. Okay, now as you can see, um, it's already recording. In fact, it already completed. Um, in fact, it can completed the video that quickly, and it's converting right now to MP3. Let me show you this. It was that freaking quick. So we're gonna give it a minute here to finish. Done. Check it out. Now, number one, we've got the MP3 file right here. It looks like it made a second copy for some reason. But that's okay. We have it. Let's play this baby back. Ah, that's what it was. That was the advertisement it was. So we're going to delete the ad. Um, it's funny. Usually the ads get named according to the ad names, but uh, hey, that's all right. So let's play this baby back and see how it sounds. This one's for you and me. I love that part. It's actually a pretty sick song. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it, man. I, I can take those songs. 
I can download them. I can put them on my iPhone 5 like I do all the time. I mean, you guys should see my uh, playlist here. Uh, well, you can take my word for it, but you can see how easily this works. Now, I forgot to mention something. You're going to thank me for this. Use a media catcher. You do not have to pay for the full version in order to record from YouTube or even convert YouTube files. You can use um, media catcher for recording from YouTube for free meaning it's not going to cost you a dime. All you do is you click on the link down below. You, oh, I'll show you. <clears throat> you click on the link down below. It's going to take you right here. Let me minimize this. All you do is click on download, and you're going to get a link right here. Uh, it's going to automatically download the file. I'm using Chrome right now. And by the way, yes, it does work in Chrome, in Firefox, and in Internet Explorer. And all you do is download the demo. And with the demo, you can record YouTube videos without paying a dime. Now, if you want to record from other sites, from Pandora, from Rhapsody, from uh, X sites, from porn sites, from um, different cam sites, which you can, by the way, um, you would need to pay for the full version, which I think is 30 or 40 bucks. And um, yeah, it's really worth it. So let's take a look next. Let's go into Pandora. And these, by the way, are from Pandora up here those top three songs, but uh, I don't know, let's see, let's see who's good right now, the Black Keys. <clears throat> Take a look at this, it's all ready recording, and it's done. And check this out. I'm gonna skip to the next song if it lets me here. I might have already skipped too many, hold on. Oh, you know, I forgot to click on record. I, I, I clicked on stop. I'm sorry. So, you do want to click on record before you start the song, so it's not going to record this one. There we are. So, let me, so, I mean, take a look. You can literally just play music all day, and it records automatically. Lonely, Lonely Boy, Black Keys, Hang Me Up to Dry, The Cold War Kids, A Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. Yeah, and it's that easy, guys. It really does work that well. Now, again, to record from Rhapsody and from Pandora, you will need the full version, but as you can see, it's really, really worth it. I mean, you can easily, in 10 minutes, record albums and albums worth of songs um, without having to pay for them. So let's take a look at Rhapsody. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, it did record this rather quickly. This song is a bit of a long name to think of you as the treasure and absent memory. But it gives me the um, song name. Oops. The album name. Of course, it does not mention that it's Zayo, so I might have to rename those manually, but still, I think that's pretty freaking cool. So, of course, I do not have recording going right now, which is why it's uh, not recording at the moment. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, that is just one example of what it can do. I mean, if we want to go a little bit further, be a little bit risque. And now, YouTube users, I am going to go to a, a XXX cam site right now, um, cam4.com. I am going to blur out any nudity. So, there's... Um, you know, if you are at work or if you're easily offended, I would recommend stop watching now. I just want to show you guys what this does. But uh, you can actually use this to record from uh, porn sites, from cam sites. Um, yeah. All right, so we're going to go into cam4.com, which is an adult camera site. So, again, if you're watching from work or if you're easily offended, I recommend you stop watching right now. Uh, I'm going to go into someone that looks like they're not nude at the moment. We're going to click on this. And as you can see, I do have recording already started here. And looks like it's loading for me here. And if you look at the status window down here, there we are. It's already streaming. And of course, she is nude, so I'm, I'm going to have to blur that out. Um, but you guys can see how well that works. So I'm going to go back, and while that's recording, I'm going to go into another video, which looks like another nude young lady. And if you look at the bottom right here, it's already recording. Adriel 20s cam. And these, by the way, do play back oh, just as well. And uh, 
I'll admit it, she has an amazing pair there, <laughs> but uh, you have to take my word for that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna close this site. I'm gonna go to another site, another XXX site, tube8.com. And again, you have to pardon the uh, adult nature of this uh, portion of the video here. Let me close that ad. We're gonna click on play. And as you can see, it is recording from uh, tubebait.com as well. So on there, pretty much any video or audio that's not encrypted, you're going to be able to record from. Um, something else you can do, which is pretty cool, is um, you can even record from Sirius XM. Um, you, for, let's say, for example, you go to... Let's, let's take a look at Groove Shark. Hold on, I'll show you guys Groove Shark real quick. Groove Shark, I don't believe you can record with the regular media catcher unless they had changed it. But uh, even if you can't record it by using this option here, you can use the audio recorder, which is pretty amazing. So give me a moment here. I should make this window smaller here so you guys can see what I'm doing here. <coughs> Sorry, dropped my uh, iPhone charging cable there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's click on this song here. Let's play and see. <laughs> Okay, now it's actually recording from Groove Shark. Groove Shark, take a look at this. Um, nice. Okay, recorded Phantom.mp3. It looks like uh, the artist uh, or the song name is Phantom, and the artist is Justice. Now I can probably play with this a bit if I click on Stop. If you go into Tools and Settings, and if you go into File Naming Rules, there's a whole bunch of different rules you can set up. So I have it set to record track and artist. It obviously only recorded the track in, the, in that example. Let's try taking out that space. But you can. Th the thing that's nice about this is you can really play with it. You can really um, play with how the files are named accordingly. So if you, if you find you're not getting the recording, uh, the recordings named how you would like them to be named, it's possible you can't fix it. Not always possible. So we're gonna try this song here, "Cruel Intentions" by Simeon Mobile. Let's see if we get the full file name for that one. And by the way, look, it's still recording the adult size. Now, by the way, uh, just to go back in time a moment, if you if you want to stop recording the live stream, all you do is right click and click on cancel. Right click and click on cancel. And you've got a recording for as much time as you want. Now, of course, the live cams are going to be recorded live. They're not going to be streaming ahead like other ones would be. So yeah, that's how that works. So. Song here. And let's see how it names when it's done. Nice, okay, it's a little better. Let's try uh, a little something else here, a little dengue fever. Really cool band, by the way, I recommend them. And let's try Lost in Laos and see what happens here. So now I'm playing Lost in Laos by Dengue Fever. And let's see how that gets named here. Boom! So tell you what guys, you see what I did there? Is I was simply able to tweak that file name and get both the artist name and the song name in there uh, from Groove Shark just by doing that. So you know what this means? So I can simply go through Groove Shark. Look at this. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. And let's see if it records and captures all three properly. This is getting fun. Almost done. Come on. Boom, boom, and boom. Look at that, guys. We just named. So you can essentially use this thing and go through Pandora, go through Rhapsody, go through Groove Shark, which is an amazing site. You can go to YouTube. You can pretty much download anything, of course, including adult content as well. So, guys, uh, if you have not yet, if you haven't gotten excited yet, Click on the link down below, check out the demo. Now with the demo, you can record YouTube videos for free. Anything else you want to record, you're only able to record up to 50% of, only half of it. So trust me on this, the full version is 40 bucks, you're gonna want this. And by the way, this is Replay Media Catcher version four. 
which is an amazing tool, by the way. It's uh, version number 4.4.5. They've got an even better version, version 5, coming out very soon, I'm told, in the next few months, which should be able to record even more than this. And uh, by the way, I haven't even mentioned yet, there's so much more you can do. You can even do scheduling. So let's say, for example, you've got a show that's on at 3 in the morning on an, on an Australian TV channel you want to record. Well, assuming you're able to play that channel, you can often set Media Catcher with the scheduler to record that for you. You can, I mean, it really does do everything. There's really so much to cover. I'm not able to really go through everything. It does not, but you can even, there's a YouTube playlist downloader. Um, I mean, there's really so much to cover, guys. So tell you what, I'm going to end this video now. I'm getting pretty excited here, as you can tell. And I've been using this thing for five years. I just love telling people about it. So if you have any specific questions, you know, let me know. Other than that, guys, check out the free demo. You can record YouTube videos for free. You're going to love this. You're going to thank me, I promise. And, uh, Hey, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.